Welcome to the 2015 NCHA Futurity. We just had the unlimited amateur final decided. It was won by Barbara Brooks on Smash Mouse with a convincing 220. Well done, Barbara. Thank you so much. Now, this is your first major win in the Will Rogers, isn't it? It is. Very definitely my first. And how does that feel after, you know, coming here and competing for a few years? How does that feel to have that you buckle? Mean like 15 years? <laughs> Uh, well, I don't have the buckle yet, but I, I'm just amazed. I never really thought it would happen. You know, being older and having so many injuries in the last five years, I just thought, well, I'm, this is just going to be fun, and I'm just going to enjoy this horse. So there was a bit of pressure in the semis coming into this. Tell us about that. Oh, uh, I was here until the very bitter end. I, I'm kind of obsessive, and I kept score all the way through, and the last three horses could have knocked me out of the finals. So. Well, fifth out tonight, um, good strong score, but a big field of 35. How did you feel going, you know, watching all the other competitors? I, I, I can't root for the cows. I, I'm just not built that way. So it was, it was pretty nerve wracking. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I honestly didn't think it would happen. There were just too many good people coming behind me. Tell us about your run. Do you remember much of it? Describe it to us. Yeah, I might have to go watch the video again before I can talk intelligently about it. Uh, I think because of the pressure yesterday, I was fairly relaxed. And he's, I'm very comfortable on him. He does anything I ask him to. And he's super easy to cut on, which with three-year-olds, you know, can be tough sometimes. He just moves wherever I send him. And they gave me my first cow, and that one worked. And then we went and got the other one and that worked and I had to it was a little odd because she was facing me in the herd in the middle of the herd and had to get her into position but we just he just let me move him right through and then the last one was a chip so you mentioned some injuries you've actually couldn't ride at all for a couple of years there I've been here since the futurity in 2013 I had um I had had major back surgery before then, and then I had destroyed the bottom joint in my thumbs on each hand, and I had surgery on those. So once I had the surgery on the right hand, my horn hand, I couldn't show. I tried swapping hands, but I'm just not that good an athlete to play golf left-handed. <laughs> It just felt really weird and ugly. So I just waited it out. And then later that year, um, I later in 14, I ruptured another disc and had to have another fusion. So I just started riding again. Uh, I've ridden at home a little bit, and I showed at the Southern and made finals on one horse there. And I showed in a little local show a few times. But other than that, that's it. Well, what a comeback to, to win a title. My expectations weren't very high. <laughs> now, um, there was a story you were telling earlier about twerking as part of your therapy. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, now you, you're going to, okay. Um, I'm, my lower back is fused from S1 to L4. And obviously to ride our horses, to cue a stop or to make a smooth stop, you have to be able to round your butt and sit down on the horse and it um i worked with my physical therapist and i i broached it to him said i have to be able to twerk and he just went beet red but then we worked on it i work against a wall just to try and build that flexibility back in you know you might be onto something there you might find there's a whole um you know row of um competitors out <laughs> against the wall twerking before they go and compete yeah it's not technically twerking with a Miley Cyrus view, but just trying to get that motion in the lower back. Well, it's obviously paid off for you. Congratulations, Barbara, and well-deserved. Thank you. So much fun.